Welcome to JIDX. This tutorial is going to show you how to create a new design for a parametric power regulator. We're going to be designing electronics with code so we can be more productive and make fewer errors. Start off by opening up the JIDX pane and create a new project. You create a new folder and this is going to be about the LM317A regulator. So create that folder and select it for the new project. Get rid of our old window here. And JIDX has made a new project for us, and we can go ahead and run this. And the new project comes with this starting design, which just has a version silk screen on it. And it also has the Open Components database, which is a JIDX common library full of useful little circuits. And we, today we're going to be designing the LM317A regulator circuit as a parametric PCB module. So we'll be able to put in the output voltage we want and get the circuit design automatically. All right, so here is our schematic and board generated with the version label. Let's add the power regulator. So we'll say PCB module 317A, and we give it an argument. So we'll say output voltage is going to be a double which is a number with a decimal. And we have pins for interfacing with this thing. Pin V in, we've got V out, and we've got ground. So this is how we attach to the circuit. And we want to design these so that the pins for attaching it are the only thing we have to worry about. So we instantiate the LM317A, and in JIDX, your component library is code. So here's the model of the LM317A. We have a component with three pins, input, output, and edge. And we invoke this by just giving it the path to the component. All right, and we can also add it to the main design. So we'll say inst reg lm317a. So this is the circuit we just defined, and it needs an argument, say 10 volts. Control Enter reruns the design in the interactive shell, and we'll get a new schematic and board with our part on it. Okay, let's design the rest of the circuit. Uh, we need input and output capacitors, so there's a handy function, cap strap, where you give it some pins and it and a capacitance, and it puts down the part for you. Second pin is ground. And the capacitance 0.1 e minus 6 microfarads. Similarly, for the output, but per the schematic, it wants a 1 microfarad. And okay, finally, we need a voltage divider. So, also from OCDB, say voltage divider. And we'll use this one with simple arguments. So the input voltage is the output voltage of the circuit. Output voltage of the regulator, 1.25 volts, as per the data sheet tolerance, say 1%. And the current through this divider, we're actually going to set quite high at 5 milliamps, because the bias current on this part is actually quite high. And now we need to connect the divider. If we use uh, go to definition here, we can see the pins of the divider are in, out, and low. So we'll say divider dot input is the V out, which is also connected to the LM317A dot output. And the output of the divider is going to be on the ADJ pin. And finally, the low reference is ground. And we've connected everything except the V in, which is to lm3178.input. All right, so that should be our circuit in JIDX. Save, rerun the design with Control Enter. And I spelled something wrong. L LMA. That's not a part in this design. There we go. Output voltage. Okay. 
So now we're seeing some output from the voltage divider solver. And we found a pair of resistors that create the desired properties, our board and schematic updated. And to finish this design, we say export design, which sends it over to Altium. And this will create a new Altium project for us with schematic, board, and component library. So we can place and route this just like it was any other design.